Welcome to our channel Alpha Production Australia. We are here in Brisbane. Today is the uh, the day for the International Women's Day celebration. In our studio today, we are going to receive some women who are going to talk about this year, this day that have been provided for the, all the women around the world. In our channel Alpha Production, if it's the first time, just subscribe to our channel. Your comments are most welcome. And in our channel, we are multi languages, so we speak in French, in English, in Swahili. So today we are going to use those three languages. We are going to speak in English, in Swahili, and also in French. So, fidèles uh, internautes, très chers compatriotes, nous sommes très heureux de vous savoir nombreux. Levant vos petits écrans pour suivre Alpha Production Australia. Aujourd'hui, nous allons parler de la journée internationale de la femme. De quelle manière les mamans qui sont à Brisbane parlent de cette journée de la femme Wa mama wa ndugu wa penzi ni sikuku ya wa mama njo leo tuko hapa juu ya kuongea kuhusu hiyo sherehe ya wa mama International Women Day celebration. Ndani ya studio yetu hapa tuna wa mama wenye wako hapa. Nabo njo tutaongea tuta kuhusu hiyo mambo. Tutaanza ku mkono yangu ya ya kushoto. Kuna wa mama wako hapo watajitambulisha Wengine wataongea na Swahili na wengine wataongea na English. Jambo tena mama karibu. Asante sana papa. kwa majina mimi naitwa Angelique. Niko hapa leo kwenye studio yako. Nimesimamia wa mama kilo. Yaani mimi nakuja kuwa represent. Asante sana. Gisi mnasikia pale ni Mama Angelique yeye ana ana represente kikundi ya wamama. Ndani ya Australia tuna vikundi ya wamama mbalimbali. Umoja ya hiyo kikundi ni ya wamama kilo. Jo Mama Angelique ana wa represente hapa sahi ku studio yetu ya Alpha Production. Gisi tulisema tuka pa Mukalanval, Kalanval Hotel in Muifazi yenye ba sponsor zetu bali tupatia juu ya ku ya kuongea kuhusu usiku kuhu ya wamama. Na kumkono yake ya Kishoto tuko na we have uh, our sister she's going to introduce herself who is our guest today. Thank you Mr. Alpha for inviting me. My name is Rudo. I am from the Queensland African Communities Council and I'm pleased to be here and joining you in this conversation. Thank you. Welcome uh, Rudo, she is representing the Queensland African Communities Council. So in Australia, in Queensland, we have uh, the uh, African community and also we have the Council of the African Community. So in, what is the role that you are playing in the uh, Queensland African Communities Council? Uh, in the Queensland African Communities Council, I'm the Vice Social Affairs Coordinator. Ah, yeah. She is in charge of the social affairs and today we are going to talk about the international women celebration. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, in the other side tuna mwingine mama atajitambulisha yeye ni nani na yeye njo atatupatia tena mashauri mbalimbali. Jambo tena mama karibu. Eh, hey, jambo sana papa Alpha. Jina yangu naitwa mama Esperance Kalonji. Ni mimi nasimamia wa mama Mkongolis community. Eh, na kuya hapa leo jutonge kuhusu wa mama siku kuu yao. Asante. Mm. Asante. Ni mama Esperance yenje anasimamia wa mama, kiongozi ya wa mama kikundi, kikundi ya wakongo ya wakongomani wenye wako hapa yeye njo leader ya wa mama. So, uh, to summarize we have here three women with them we are going to talk about the international women celebration. Uh, the theme of this year is Digital innovation, technology for gender equality. We are going to highlight the role of the uh, innovative technology in promoting gender equality and meeting the health and development needs of women and girls. So this year, we are going to focus on digital, digital technology, the new technology. We are using the new technology. We have in our hands, we have the phones, the new phones that have been released recently. And also, we are using them. The women also are using them. How they are using them, what kind of challenge they are 
uh, they are facing by using this uh, new technology. This is what we are going to talk today. So, leo ni siku kuu ya kuongea kuhusu hii ma, ma technology. Tunaona kila mtu iko na uh, iko na simu yake, ile simu yenye iko natumikisha iko part ya technology. Namna gani wa mama wanatumikisha hiyo technology? Ma challenge gani wa mama wanakutana nayo mu ile kutumikisha hiyo technology? So, tutaanza na mama uh, Angelique. Kumu kikundi ya wa mama ba mama kilo naona mnatumikisha masimu ya kukamata mapicha ya, ku, ya ku, na, na mbingine mnatumikisha hiyo uh, technology na mna gani na ma challenge gani nyie wa mama wanakutana na nao saa wako natumikisha hiyo uh, technology ya mupi asante sana papa alpha um, kulingana na technology yenye imetokea miaka hii yenye imepita kwa kweli inaleta challenge nyingi kwanza inasaidia inatusaidia juu ya mawasiliano inatusaidia juu ya kujua namna gani dunia inavyoendelea kwa kuwa sasa hivi dunia ni kubwa ndio lakini kulingana na simu zenye tuko nazo na technology zenye wametoa dunia inakuwa kidogo ukitaka kuangalia mambo yenye inapitika Ufaransa inapitika Kongo kwetu inapitika Afrika unagusa tu simu yako sasa sisi wa mama inatusaidia sana kama gisi tuko kwenye kundi yetu ya mama makilo na sio kundi ya mama makilo tu ni kundi ya wa mama wengine kundi zao hili inatupatia kwanza mawasiliano tunakuwa kama tuko karibu nikihitaji kujulia wa mama hali natumikisha simu yangu wakitaka kujua namna gani kila mmoja anavyoendelea tunatumikisha simu na tukiwa na habari fulani yenye tunataka kuwaambia wa mama kuhusu kundi yetu kuhusu maisha kuhusu nini tunatumikisha ni hiyo simu simu ni muhimu zaidi sana kwa hiyo masiliano kama gisi nimetoka kusema na tena simu inatuaffecte kidogo juu wa mama wengine wanasahau ikiwa wenyewe ni wa mama na wanatumikisha tu simu kuliko kuluka after watoto kuliko kujali familia yeye yupo tu kusimu. Kuna wengine wanaunguza hata chakula cha, chakula inalungula sana. Chakula, chakula kinaungua. Mama yuko kwenye kisha nini teknolojia kisha ya ma, matiki toki na banini yeah. manake. Kwa hiyo na simu chakula inalungu, i, 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 inaharibika. Hiyo kweli. Yeah. Simu ina umuhimu wake na simu ina ma, mazaifu yake nayo. Ndio. Asante sana. Asante sana. Uh, tuna tunaenda kwa mama kiongozi ya Congolese community. Uh, unaongoza wa mama na wa mama wanatumikisha masimu na gisi mama Angelika na ana, anatoa kuongea pale ni kupana mahabari tunatumikisha masimu sasa antanke leader ya wa mama challenge gani nyewe unakutana una, una, una nayo sawa unatumikisha hiyo technology inakusaidia na kupanga ma meeting na manini uh, utuambie utu kidogo namna gani una unajikamata na hiyo nini ya uh, technology za mpya na masimu zinye zinatoka ma hii masimu ye yeah, kungambo yangu simu inasaidia vitu mingi lakini ninashauri tena wa mama wengi wanapata shida ndani ya manyumba yao kwa sababu akisha kugusa simu anakuwa pab yake bwana na yeye pab yake unaona huyu anaangalia kwake huyu anaangalia kwake wengine wako na lala saa kupita Mwingine bwana sasa kutangulia mushambre yana bakia musalon eko kusimu eko kusimu sangira na ingia mushambre saa kupita wakati ilitakana kubeba swae ya bwana unaona kumshughulikia bwana wala watoto mtoto sangira anataka anamwambia kitu oh ni kukusimu oh ni kukusimu simu iko nasaidia kujicommunicate tena na, na, na kuongea na bandiko yetu pale Afrika ku WhatsApp jo kama ukisha kwa na app ya WhatsApp tena unasaidia ndugu yako kule na yeye na telefoni ya WhatsApp inalomba tu anaweka mainite kidogo anaweka pesa kidogo mnajicommunicate sasa tena simu inakuwa tena na mashida mingi simu kuna saidia vitu mingi tena kuna mashida mingi sasa ni mzuri kuweka kukipimo kila kitu simu kuna saidia kufanya ma transfer ya pesa ibi atukua kena vya zamani kama sasa hivi unataka utume pesa paka kusimu kule au na obligé wende kwa chance paka kusimu kule una download app 
kama ni manigram kama ni western hiyo unaikala tu nyumba yako kizuri pesa kwe mu, mu account unatuma pesa unaona ailombe tena kujideplace kama tuko busiku kuku kwetu ku Afrika tuko mjua kuna tokea kitu kia ghafla na unataka usaidie paka busiku busiku bule unaweza una, unatuma pesa na bo kule beko mjua banachukua pesa simu kuna saidia tena paka musimu watu wanaweza kufanya business simu wengine wewe unachukua mapicha jua kufanya publicity ya mangua kama sasa hivi mtu anashaka mangua benzake wanaweza kununua mangua banavala anabakamata mapicha kisha atatia ku social media ku facebook wala wapi wale wakati baina wataona ah ingwa ya mzuri ununua wapi tuko muna ba mama venye banauzisha mangua ba mama Francine wa banani anaweza kusema nilinunua kwa mama Francine pale mtu anajua kumi na mita pita kwa mama Francine niangalie kama kutakuwa size yangu ya kwenye nene donc bile biote sio kukamata tu paka picha jua kukamata kukamata picha saa ingine wanduko wanaona kama nduko yetu huko musante mzuri anaonekana mzuri anaonekana na furaha tena unaweza kukamata picha jua kuonesha kama nduko yangu alilukula sana angalia gisa anabakia sasa donc bile biote ni paka simu simu kuna vitu mingi tuta develop asante asante sana mama uh, experience mnasikia gisi gani wa mama wanatumikisha uh, simu zao sasa nyingine zinaleta shida ndani ya manyumba lakini tunapasha kushika kitu ya muhimu na kuchagua namna gani tunatumikisha hiyo masimu zetu so uh, we have been talking about the uh, how the women are using the uh, the new technology the mobile phones that we have with the uh, the new app we have the whatsapp we have uh, the new uh, up like tiktok and so on and so on and the way the women are using those devices sometimes is causing problem big challenge in the in their families and they're not looking after their husband properly and that's one of the cause of the problem in the trouble in the couple so we have another way of viewing the technology because in our team we say that to highlight the role of innovative technology in promoting gender gender equality and in meeting the health and development needs of women and girls so we have a registered nurse here she's going to talk a little bit about the uh, how the new technology is using in the health system especially here in uh, Brisbane why not in Queensland and more in Australia how the, the the government introduced the new technology in the health system welcome my sister so with the innovative technology that's being used currently in Queensland Queensland health and Mostly in the healthcare system, there's lots to talk about, but I will first talk about the innovative technology that the African people are using, or the African uh, community found helpful, especially in the pandemic with uh, COVID-19. So what was useful in that time is because Africa, as African people, we are a diverse people. We have so many languages, and the basic language that the government uses or Queensland Health or the Department of Health uses is English. So not everyone understands English. Not everyone speaks English. So what we saw was helpful with innovative technology was the use of mobile phones, um, the communities translating English language into the different uh, African languages that are in the community, the whole uh, Queensland community they translated into those languages and they managed to share those messages with WhatsApp. So people that didn't understand English were able to understand what's going on or what are the updates with COVID. Are we in outbreak? What are we doing? What are we supposed to do? So that helped the community because the expectation was that because not a lot of people understand English in the African community, they're going to be in, impacted or have a, major impact, not a positive one, but a negative impact. But because um, the community were um, 
innovative enough to use that for their advantage. So that helped to uh, minimize the negative impact of COVID-19 in the African community. So having said that, we can see that the way we choose to use technology can be positive, it can be negative. I know Mr. Alpha, you, many, you mentioned that uh, technology is impacting on families at home. Yeah. So it's how we choose to use it. If we choose to watch things that don't benefit us, it will have a negative impact on the family. But if we choose and decide to use it for our advantage, we can see it help the African community. Even though we had different languages, uh, diverse languages, we couldn't always help each other. But because we decided that whoever understands this language, um, the African language and understands English could translate and share with other people that didn't understand English. That helped a lot. Uh, let me uh, uh, interrupt a little bit. Uh, you were talking about the, uh, the time when we have been affected by the COVID-19. Yes. And also we had uh, some challenges because uh, the communication of the update of the uh, the health system about the uh, COVID-19 the requirements and also uh, in terms of um, uh, how people are, have access to some facilities. We had that app that was you have to register before you enter. Is that also part of the, the, the new technology in, uh, at the time of the uh, COVID-19? Yes, it was part of the technology. So that was used mainly for contact tracing. Um, I'm, I hope I understood your question, but yeah, I, yeah, think, yeah, yeah. I think that's what you mean. So technology was, it was also used to help to trace contacts at that time when the pandemic was at its peak. And also, it was also um, effective in letting you know that you've been exposed to the virus. So you take precautions knowing I visited this place and there were positive cases out of that place. So you were able to be proactive with your health and not wait until you become sick. Or if you become sick, you would probably know this is most likely COVID because I've been in that place where they said there was people that were positive, co uh, positive with COVID, yes. Yeah, that, 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 that was the, uh, the, the main thing that we, we noticed. Now, in terms of the, uh, the treatment, uh, in uh, like someone have a disease or whatever, I need to get the surgery. You know, uh, at the old time we had uh, the open surgery. So nowadays, how the technology has been used in uh, terms of the, uh, the new sur uh, surgery system? So uh, the new technology has improved uh, health outcomes a lot. So in some instances where people used to have abdominals, like for example, I'll give an example of um, maybe appendicitis. I remember early in my career, people used to have like an open abdomen for them to be able to take the infected appendix, but now they use a keyhole surgery, which is much more easier on the body and it's got quicker healing times. Is there any side effect after using those uh, material in the, hum in the human body or the, the uh, sad part or sad effect of those uh, new technologies? New technologies. I haven't heard of side effects of the new technologies, for example in surgery. I haven't heard because I think what they say is actually the recovery time has been cut short because in the past when they had to, to open the abdomen or open the whole chest to do maybe cardiology surgery, mm -hmm. they just do keyhole surgery, which is like a small opening compared to a big opening. So a big wound takes a longer time to heal compared to a smaller wound. Mm -hmm. So I believe the advances in technology, they have uh, more positive effects or impact on the population mm -hmm. or on everyone, mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, that's amazing. So, when you are going to get a lot of money, you can get a lot of money. 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 Mbele uingie sehemu fulani unapasha kuklike kukitu fulani kuna app fulani ndani ya simu yako mbele uingie kama 
haikliki pale green haioneshe green hauwezi ku, kuingia yote ni ma technology yenye inatumikishwa i uh, masiku hizi so uh, it was a pleasure to have uh, the women talking about the new technology in our studio uh, alpha production this one just part one but we are going to uh, go deep in the topic because the topic is very very big we are not going to do to say everything right here it was just introduction and we take this opportunity to talk about the the, the theme of this year 2023 about the use of the new te technology for the equality of gender we are going next time to talk about the equality of gender in using of the technology this one was just the introduction of this topic the topic is the theme of the 2023 International Women's Day. So it was a pleasure for me to have uh, in our studio uh, Mama Angelique, Mama Rudo, and Mama Esperance, who are the leaders of the communities and also uh, registered nurse in our studio. I give you just uh, no, this opportunity to say a last word and also if you can greet some people that are very, very important for you. All right. Um, asante sana wewe na shukuru. Na shukuru kwanza kwa kutualika hapa kwa kuongea kuhusu hii mada juu ya technology this can affect the community. Yeah. Uh, mashauri kidogo tuji zinye nitapatia wa mama tutumikishe technology zetu tutumikishe simu zetu kwa faida ya familia kwa faida ya community kwa faida yetu sisi binafsi tusitumikishe uh, technology zetu kwa kuasiri watu wengine kwa matusi kwa mambo mabaya mabaya ya kupostiana au unachukua message ya huyu mtu inaituma kwa mtu mwingine unachukua um, picha ya mtu fulani ya aibu unaituma kwa mtu mwingine sisi kama wanawake wana hatuwezi tukafanya hivyo hatuwezi tukafanya hivyo kabisa na ndio maana ukiangalia vizuri siku kama ya leo leo ni tarehe moja lakini celebration yetu ilipitika tarehe nane ni kwa ajili ya wanawake tunastahili kubadilika tujue namna gani tutakamata familia zetu sisi ni nguzo sisi ni mwanzo wa familia. Mama akiongoka vizuri familia inaongoka vizuri. Yeah. Tukiangalia kwa vijana, vijana watumikisha technology isije ikawaasiri kimaisha. Juu hii technology simu mnazo kuwa nazo ni nzuri tena ni mbaya. Hiyo simu inaweza ikakuuishe, hiyo simu itakuponyesha. Kwa wale wenye wako wanajifunza wanafunzi, simu inawasaidia sana wakitaka kusearch kitu fulani wanatumikisha simu. So kwa vizuri wakitumikisha simu zao vizuri na vijana wajaribu kuwa pamoja wajaribu kuwa pamoja kwa kuwa vijana ndio tutegemeo letu sisi wa Afrika tunategemea watoto wetu wakati mtoto wako anaongoka vizuri na wewe mama unajisikia unaheshima wakati mtoto anaenda vibaya wewe mama unajisikia aibu so tunahitaji sana vijana wetu simu zisiwapotoshe simu zisiwaleweshe simu ziwaweke pamoja na wao wa baba wa kesho kwa kuwa mzazi anaandaa mtoto wake kuwa mama wa kesho, kuwa baba wa kesho, kuwa mama wa mtu mwingine kesho. So, ni vizuri zaidi sana wakitumikisha simu. Okay, asante sana. Na kushukuru sana kwa kunialika. Yeah. Na shukuru wa mama Kiro yenyewe alinichaguaga. Uh, asante sana mama uh, Angelique. Sijue, gisi ulikuwa naongea pale wa mama Kiro. Kama unaweza ku kubasemea kaneno kidogo ya kuwafurahisha kuhusu hii siku kwa wa mama. Okay sawa asante sana. Najua kwetu sisi wa mama Kilo tunaandaa hii siku kuu yenye ilipitika sisi hatukua na muda kabisa tulizuiliwa na mambo mengi lakini tutaiandaa mwezi wa tano. Mm -hmm. Hapo ndio kwenye wa mama watakutanana mm -hmm. na tujue namna gani tunaweza tukashauriana sisi kwa sisi. Mm -hmm. yeah, so na nawapenda sana wa mama Kilo. Ni grupi ya mama wenye wako wako smart. Wako smart atuka. Asante sana. Na wasalimia mama kilo wote. Saluti kwa mama kilo wote kwenye mnatufuata. Yeah. Mnajulikana duniani mzima msio na wasi. Ya 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 ya. Okay inasikilikana. Atuka wa mama kilo yenu njoo ile mama Francine yako njoo ile na wa mama wengine yenu njoo ile. Mama Suzana tu atuhusabu yako njoo. Bless you. Bless you. Okay, uh, 
my sister Rudo. So we are just at the end of this show. Uh, any words and some greetings for the people that you are, are most important for you? Uh, thank you. Uh, greetings to all my family members uh, here in Brisbane, Queensland, Victoria, New South Wales. Uh, anywhere you are, you know yourselves in WA, in Africa, in England, just in case you watch this channel. Uh, you're important to me. I love you all. I just wanted to encourage everyone to use the technology wisely for your benefit, especially with this year's theme uh, in promoting our health as women, but as men as well, you can take advantage of that. It's not just um, an exclusive thing, but it's for everyone to take advantage of technology. The other thing I wanted to encourage people is I know a lot of people in our African community, sometimes they're scared of surgery. They don't go and get enough information about the surgery or they listen to other people or they know someone who died and they will not go and get information or get surgery. But I wanted to encourage everyone, get yourself information, get yourself educated, ask questions to the doctors. The new technology that we have, it means things are much more quicker, more effective, um, and also the healthcare system will not buy things that have not been tested or things that will put anyone at risk. So be assured that most all the equipment used has been tested and approved to be used and it's safe. If there's any side effects, there will be side effects with anything. So please go get yourself checked, go get yourself the help you need. If it's surgery, please go get the surgery that you need. It's far more effective to get that surgery done than to wait the course and maybe it will be too late. So don't wait till it's too late to decide whether you need to have the intervention or not. That's my encouragement. Thank you. Thank you, my sister Rudo, for the encouragement for everyone. You have, a, if you are sick, don't be scared. Go be tested and then have your health check and then you make sure that you are healthy. So that, okay, don't, don't, don't be afraid of this uh, surgery. We have the new technology that has been put, put in, in place. Okay, uh, Mama Esperance, Sasa, neno la mwisho kuongea wa kuhusu wa mama na ma, ya kutumikisha hiyo ma technology ina, ina, ina leta ma tatizo mbali mbali, Sasa, neno la mwisho kwa, kwa leo kwa hii uh, show yetu ya ya leo. Ye, yeah, neno la mwisho nilitaka kwanza kuongea juu ya value ya mwanamke. Unaona hapo sasa tuko na technology. Lakini zamani hatukuwa na technology, wanamuke walifanya mambo ya majabu, ya mzuri sana. Kwa sababu nikikumbuke wakati farao alileta amri ya kusema kama wa mama wa Ibro wanaenda kuzaa, wako wanaua watoto wanaume kwa sababu watakuwa wanamkombanisha bale ba, ba Egyptian women bale ba, ba, ba namke ba, ba mu Egypt bali ongea na mfalme lakini hawakukubali kuua watoto bana yao buchungu ya mama mama kama kuna mimba pa kuzala bana yao ile buchungu bali ongopa Mungu banasema pana tumwambie farao ya kama bana mke ba Hebrew bana kalaka na nguvu sana wakati wanakuwa kuzala wanakuwa kwa alisha kwa deja tayari na wewe kuna nguvu pakusema twende tukawasaidie tunamkuta alisha kuzala akisha kuzala unaona si mtoto wake ni mzima hakuna namna si kumwambia sime mtoto alikufa pa kuzala ile ni valori ya mwanamke tukiangalia tena historia ya Moise wakati baba na mama mama kaangalia mtoto wake mzuri bei kuna enda na kuwa watoto wanaume mama na baba bakaongea kusema Tuponeshe mtoto wetu yu je. Baka fanya kitunga, baka mtengenezea kitunga, baka tia moezi mule. Sasa kia majabu, leo ni International Women's Day. Tukuna celebrate muana muke yote. Happy Mother's Day ni muwezi watano. Lakini inye mafaitu ya muana muke yote. Dunia muzima. Mu, mu, dada yake ya moezi, akaleta kiri ya nasema, akaongeza kiri ya nasema, baba, wakati mutatia kitunga pamai, mi tapenda ni fuate kitunga nione kule kitunga kinaenda eh njo nduku yetu nampenda sana siwezi kuichika kitu kimefanikia kama kitu kinamfanikia ntajuu sikia sasa akili ya mwanamke sikia sasa mafaa ya mwanamke wakati dada akafuata kitunga 
akaona na kisi mtoto wa farao anabeba kitunga anafurahi na mtoto kisha akaunga akili akaenda kumuona unataka nikutafutie mama wa kumnyonyesha unasikia akili ya mwanamke nikutafutie mama wa kunyonyesha wa kunyonyesha huyu mtoto akaenda akaambia paka mama yake sasa mama yake akakuya anasema huyu mama na yeye alikuwa na mtoto bali huwa mtoto yake sasa iko na maziwa ya kunyonyesha njoo bakabeba mama wa Moise bakamupatia anaanza kunyonyesha mtoto wake peke yake na beko na mulipa donc njoo pale nitaka kumalizia mafa ya mwanamke sasa tukiona mafa ya mwanamke kwa hiyo wakati tunakuwa na technology tutumikishe technology na makeni kwa wengine wa mama hata mtoto yuko namwambia kitu yeko busy pengine ni kitu kia muhimu inalomba umsikie mtoto kwanza uone utamsaidia je wewe kupaka chunga kwanza chunga kwanza ni kufone kipande usiku na ingi au unapusa kenya mtoto alikuwa kuna kuambi mimi kunaenda na kutugawanya na watoto wetu tuwatie watoto wetu karibu tuwasikilize tuwaze mawazo mzuri ile Mungu alitia ndani mwetu tunaomba kutengeneza mabu nyumba yetu kutengeneza mafamilia yetu njoo ile nitaka kuongea mafaa ya mwanamke kuvunja roho ya mwanamke ni kitu kibaya kwa sababu mwanamke akisha kuvunjika roho unaona inamchenja hata character inamchenja hata mentality anakuwa makari makari anakuwa mtoto yuko namwambia kitu anamuisia makari ndio maana tu treat mwanamke mzuri tu batrete wanamke wazuri kwa sababu wewe kuna mafaa hata kingari mtoto anafunda makazi anaweza kupikia familia anaweza kuangalia balukua yake anaweza kushukulukia balukua yake asante sana nataka nisalimie familia yangu wale watenyona dada yangu Mwadi Bernadette eko pale America na muloko yangu Monica na muloko yangu mwingine Anika Banga beko pale America na wasalimia pale mtaona hii video na mama yangu eko pale America na watoto yangu wanamuke weko hapa na wamama wote wa Congolese community gisi mrini chakula ili nisimamie wamama na endaka kumirepresente kuma meeting mimi naongea kwa kuhusu wamama kuma meeting nini tunatakana jua maendeleo mazuri katikati ya mukini yetu wa Australia hii mukini mzuri hivi yenye Mungu atatuchakulia tukwe humu inalomba inabidi tuishi na furaha tuishi na maisha mazuri lakini tunaweza kusaidiana tena pamoja na technology hapa sasa tunaweza kuitumikisha mnjia mzuri kwa jina maendeleo inatusaidia kufanya mazumo meeting inatusaidia kufanya meeting ya watu mengi ku telefono donc technology iko inatusaidia Asante sana wanduku na wapenda ni mimi mama Esperance msimamizi wa mama ba Congolese community I love you all thank you papa wow, alpha thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Wow thank you thank you thank you thank you that was the last word of uh, mama Esperance Kalonji so we are just at the end of this show it was a special show a special studio made uh, just for this uh, occasion which is the celebration of international women day so we have been listening to the women who were talking about different topics but we are not going to go deep on these topics but we will have another chance to talk about those topics that we started today it depends how we are going to manage it So wandugu wapenzi ilikuwa uh, furaha sana kupokea wamama na tuliongea leo kuhusu hii theme ya Journée Internationale de la Femme ilikuwa kuhusu e, namna gani ya kutumikisha ma new technology If that was the first time for you to watch this channel Alpha Production just subscribe to our channel Your comments are most welcome and don't forget to click on that close or uh, bell of notification when we are live and then you are going to see that we are live M most importantly subscribe and your comment so this is just the beginning of this topic we will have another chance uh, thank you mama uh, angelique thank you. thank you mama rudo for coming Thank you, Mama Esperance. It was a pleasure to have all of you in this occasional studio. Thank you for uh, Kalamval Hotel who are providing this uh, location for our gathering, our meeting, our show, our interventions. Thank you very much and let Almighty God continue to bless.
and protect you in your families. Bye-bye.